Hello and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. Look, t-shirt weather. Yes, I'll be wearing all the t-shirts people have sent me over the coming videos. This is the quad lugs one. And uh, there's more to come on the quad lugs, by the way. But today, today, I'm looking at this. This is, and everybody who spotted my glaring mistake, because old age and senility is setting in. Uh, yes, this is from Quadrasteria. It is the Mini Mamba. It is not from X Hover. okay? Just get that quite straight. Oh, boo. Anyway, um, yes, so I've set it up with the FPV gear now. Let's have a look at it on the bench. I'll tell you what I've done. So here it is in all its glory with the FPV gear mounted in. Now I've used a, a Sony camera, you know, the 600 TV line Super Head 2 camera, and I've got it in an enclosure. Uh, I was going to use a plastic one, but I only had a metal one laying around, so it's in a metal enclosure, which will make it make sure it's nice and safe and secure. It's not going to get damaged. Um, I just used one of the Toroids low-pass filter there because there is a bit of noise. I'm sure that um, if that doesn't work effectively, I will actually, I may run some coax because it's quite a long video feed right down to the back here. And one of the things I perhaps haven't mentioned before is that you can pick up noise through the actual video lead itself, not necessarily through the power, but also through the video lead. So you, sometimes on a long run, you've got to use a coax to get rid of that noise because twisted wire, it just won't do it. But we'll try it out, we'll see how we go. I'll give you some examples later on in another video, show you how to deal to those last little bits of annoying lines on the video. At the back end here, we've got the Skyzone 500 milliwatt, quite a small transmitter in a metal case, and that's 5.8 gigahertz, of course, running into a homemade cloverleaf or uh, skew planner, such a cloverleaf, this one, antenna, with the ping pong ball cover on it so it doesn't get bent. You'll notice that my Mobius is actually mounted on top of the Flight controller plate, why is it up there? Well, obviously you're gonna get a lot of the front of the machine in view, which might look interesting, I don't know, haven't done it yet, but as I mentioned in part one of the review, this, this Mobius mount thing here, it just doesn't give you the height to clear the camera with your, with your lens, so, hmm, yeah, that's something that needs to be revisited in this particular frame, but hey, you know, there is a version two out now, I saw it briefly, I got an email from the uh, quadra stereo guy from Ron, he said there's a version 2 out, so I, I may actually get the version 2 and, and mount my Mobius under here and put my board camera up on the plate on the top. That'd be a nice solution. But we'll see what happens, see whether that works or not, see how it all pans out. In the meantime, I guess I've still got the battery on the bottom. I don't have any legs uh, because the legs, you know, just didn't work for me with having to put the heat shrink on the arms. But I'm going to, I've got some longer bolts, so I'm going to make up some little legs that bolt in here on those bolts, just some little legs like that, and that'll give me a bit of ground clearance when I'm landing, won't be landing on the battery all the time. But I guess, yeah, that's it. There's not really much else to say. I think it's time we actually took it outside and did some FPV. Yeah.
So there we go. This weather is really getting me down. It's been relentless wind. So the flight test was pretty short and uh, I noticed there's a vibration on this. This really has a very funny noise. This model, everyone remarks on the way it sounds, it's got a hollow rattle to it. Now the motor bearings are okay, there's nothing loose, it's just it has a hollow rattle. I wonder if it's a function of these tubular arms or something. I don't know if anyone else has got a, um, an ex, uh, sorry I <laughs> nearly did it again. If anyone else has got a mini member and it has a funny noise, let me know because Am I the only one? I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's very maneuverable. FPV, uh, it flies really nicely. Not as fast as I thought it would be, but I think maybe that might be because of these gem fan 6x4 props. Um, I've had to balance them. I mean, you don't have to balance the 5x3s and the 5x4s. They seem quite nicely made, but I notice these gem fans, um, they are a little bit out of balance. So I balanced them to make sure that the vibes weren't due to that. Maybe it's an interaction between the prop, the airflow from the two props, since you've got an angle on there and you might have a bit of air from the front one hitting the back one. I don't know. Um, have to do some more research on that. Just find out what's going on. So yeah, it'll be a, as I said right at the beginning when I was reviewing this, this will be a work in progress. A lot of things to try out with this particular craft, but in the meantime, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. It's a fun machine to fly. It's different, different to all the others, so that's got to be a bonus. And I'm going to spend some more time with it. Um, don't, as I say, don't like the camera placements, but you know, okay, that can be changed. In the meantime, I guess I've got to get out there and just burn some lipo, get some hours up, see how it all works out. So thank you for watching. If you've got questions, comments, whatever, feel free to put them in the space provided kindly by YouTube and I'll do my best to address them as usual. In the meantime, I've got to get back to the flying field. Bye for now.